I just want to see if anybody comes close to beating Niels and Bianca. Jamin here. Welcome to Street Smart Swing. Subscribe below so you don't miss any of my reactions. Big shout out to all of you who support this channel through Patreon and my Street Smart Swing community membership. If you haven't already, check out the benefits in the description below. You get some personal coaching from me and some weekly classes. Now, when it comes to the world of swing dancing, Niels and Bianca have been extraordinary practitioners of this art form and continue to dominate most of their competitors for the last half a decade. They've been at it for years at the top of their game and like last year, this particular event I'm gonna be looking at, I want to see real competition. I don't wanna see a complete massacre, although it probably, certainly, potentially, ostensibly will happen. I want to see some resemblance of a couple ready to go to war on the dance floor. Now, this epic war that I hope is going to happen is taking place at an event called Camp Hollywood. For those of you who do not know, this is one of the most hyped and crowd supportive events on the globe. Body bag! Yeah! All right. <laughs> And I can't wait to see how the crowd helps these competitors bring their A game. Now, I'm going to be looking specifically for the couple who comes the closest to putting up a real fight against Niels and Bianca. Not that I am against Niels and Bianca, it's just that I am tired of seeing them completely dominate competitors without even really trying. And without real competition, eventually, they may even stop trying themselves and this ultimately hurts the art form. I'm also gonna be valuing which couple has the most balanced set of choreography without just depending on, the, on a bunch of tricks and the, the audience. Now that's the snobby judge part of me talking. So without further ado, let's get right into this.
did they come close? Maybe. Maybe. Now, I got to say, guys, this competition had some fire. It had some real heavy hitters in it. And I've got to point out a lot of different things in this competition that I really, really hate it. <laughs> joking i'm gonna talk about what i liked and there was more than one thing i was really surprised by this competition i gotta say guys right off of the bat the couple that i really focused on and it was all based on their very first set was matt and natalia if you guys see right here when they come in they they tend to always be really technical and super tight but what i appreciate is the fast, quick changes and creative ways of leading and following in the Strictly set. I gotta say they had one of the tightest executions uh, on both of their sets. A lot of time people have a stronger one and then a weaker one, but just their stops and movement was so powerful. And I gotta say, I didn't I did enjoy all of the artistic things like the, the end, tail end of their second set here. It's okay, I mean, but as a whole, they had one of the tightest sets that could not be ignored. I thought, honestly, for me, if I was doing like a ranking, they would be first in terms of like perfect execution. That's how you execute your choreography. Now, <laughs> there were a couple other things that I really liked too. There was a section, this little part by uh, Blake and Grace that I really liked. And it was this little transition when they come in together See, these little things like this is what I appreciate. It's right after their old swing outs, boom, boom, boom. And they, oh, just that right there, that was really, really smooth. I didn't expect them to kind of do a choreographed part there. Most people just go into the regular sailors where they do a single leg kick or they vacillate between their, their outside foot and their inside foot and kick in a circle. They didn't do that. They did some really cool choreography and it caught my eye. I really liked that. That was really good. And there was another session, guys, right here. This this right here. I would say this was my favorite couple for the, the, the most creative moment in the entire thing for me. The most surprising, most creative part for me. We'll get to Niels and Bianca here in a minute. But my favorite out of everybody was Hunter and Karen. I'm not sure if it's Karine or Karen. Correct me if I'm wrong. But look, guys, this little session right here, I haven't seen them dance before. Maybe I have, but they caught my attention because they were so different in the way that they looked, just the just the way they moved and this surprising set, that transition there, and of course, the icing on the cake. That is what I like to see. It's not so much just the unique move, but it's how you get there is also really important. And they really surprised me. I didn't expect that little quick sh turn on the shoulder and go into a different direction. <laughs> that was the moment that stood out the most to me. Now, I got to say, guys, a lot of times when you watch competition, you, you have blinders on. You have your favorite people. And a lot of times your favorite people make mistakes that no one's perfect. But what's weird is I noticed in Niels and Bianca's sets, they, they had fantastic aerials, of course. Their aerials were so tight and innovative. And when they came out the first time, they kind of had a little hiccup, a little disconnect, and I felt like my heart drop. I was like, oh no, <laughs> it's the end of the world. But it, I hurt for them because I know that their level of respect for themselves and what they're capable of is much higher than what we could ever imagine. It's hard to stay on the top, guys. It's easy to climb and fail and keep learning from your mistakes and continuing to climb and to have prominence in your field. But once you've achieved a level of domination compared to everybody else, it's really hard to stay on top of that mountain. Everybody wants your position, but not everybody's willing to work that hard to get it. And not everybody's willing to work that hard to keep it either. So I felt for them when they messed up. But what, here's what I liked. In this set, guys, it was super tight. This first little session right here. And they come in, this right here, this little, oh, right here. And then when she comes up, bop, right there, the little stop. Oh, I was done. And then the second session here, this little roly-poly thing. <laughs> I love this. And then right there, that was inventive. A lot of people 
complain about their aerials. I don't mind their aerials. They fit into the category of vertical aerials to me. You have your horizontal aerial people who utilize momentum and throwing their partner away from them and in a direction that's more horizontal. And then you have the people who do more aerials that they stand in one spot and they throw their aerials up, their, their partners up, and the aerials are more stationary. And I feel like Niels and Bianca have really dominated the, the stationary vertical aerial sequence. Uh, they, they're just so creative at doing it and you gotta respect it. So whatever side of the artistic spectrum you're on, you still have to give them props for what they're good at. But guys, what did you think about that one? Let me know what you thought about this one. This was not my favorite. I gotta say, it wasn't my favorite. They are the most professional. They have the most discipline in their movement. You can see it, but it wasn't overall the best display of what I know that they can do. But I did like those aerials. I gotta tell you, the aerials were there. They were there and they hit hard. I think they won the audience too with those aerials. Now the couple that really surprised me I was surprised particularly to see the follower because I didn't recognize it was her at first, but it was AJ and Gabby, guys. <laughs> I feel that they had the balance that I was looking for, the perfect balance in both of their sets. So when they come out here, uh, you can see in this little section, when they first come out, I was like, okay, I don't know if I've seen this guy. That slide? And the little split, okay, they, get, they had my attention, but they didn't overdo it. I see some basic choreography and some social dancing that I could lead and follow. And then their second set, they came in. And of course, more stuff you can lead and follow. It was perfectly balanced, great execution, great displays of acrobatics, guys. This That was... That's what I like to see, and that's what I hope the audience begins to appreciate more, not just the razzle-dazzle moments where you you focus in on one or two tricks, but then you kind of diminish the thing that's all around the tricks because the, the, the swing dancing is part of it too. And I, I like to see that balance, that's me. I don't wanna lose the audience and I don't wanna lose the expert. I like to be in the middle there. But guys, what did you think about this one? I told you the ones I liked. I told you why I liked them. I felt for Niels and Bianca for, for kind of getting disconnected there, but I don't like to show it. I, you notice I didn't put that in the video. I don't like to do that to people. A lot of people like to hate on people and use their platform to kind of you know be political and hurt people. I like to show people at their best, but let me know what you guys thought. I, I felt for them when they messed up. My heart sank a little bit, but I also was blown away by the aerials, guys. That was just so good. It was so well put together. But guys, my favorite, again, my favorite was Hunter and Karen. Guys, subscribe. Make sure you don't miss anything below. Check out the benefits of my school online. And if I don't hear your comments below, hopefully I get a chance to see some of you in my class online. Take care.